Good morning everyone! Today's video is part 2 of our travels to Yosemite National Park. If you haven't watched part 1 already, I'll leave a link down below because that is the first part of this video which I chopped in half because it was way too long. So today's video is part 2 and we're going to jump straight into it. Below is a list of the only camera gear I brought with me to shoot this entire video and all the photos in Yosemite. Um, but yeah, I really hope you guys enjoy today's video. As we've been walking around in this beautiful place <laughs> I was doing some thinking and there's something that I wanted to tell you guys about uh, kind of like not feeling good enough as a photographer and also about self-evaluation as a photographer in order to be able to grow in the kind of photos that you take we made it to the river which is just behind me and the river used to be so much bigger when we came here in winter last time which is where I wanted to continue on with my story which is about uh, like not feeling good enough with photography so as you guys know obviously I'm a portrait photographer oh my god <laughs> I'm like slipping on these rocks but when I travel I definitely love to play around with landscape photography and just try and get like as good photos as I possibly can while I'm traveling of like the landscapes and astrophotography and stuff like that the boys are throwing rocks into the water. The last time I was here in Yosemite, it was in just at the end of winter and Dan and I got to experience snowfall. For me, that was like my first snowfall experience ever. And in my opinion, the photos that we got on that trip were some of my favorite travel photos that I've ever taken in my life. And now that I'm here again and it's autumn and like the waterfalls aren't running as much and there's no snow anywhere, I'm like, how am I gonna beat like the photos that I took last time? I've been doing some thinking and I felt like this would be an important thing to mention to you guys and to just talk about because maybe you guys feel the same way as well. But I think I had it all wrong when I was thinking about it that way. For me, I think the beauty of photography is that there is always room to improve and while it's important to be proud of your work and what you create, I think it's also important to keep in mind that, um, that there's never like an end goal or like a finish line with photography. I feel like if you're not learning, if you're not improving, if you're not trying to outdo yourself from last time, then you're doing something wrong. And I think that's what I love so much about taking photos and making videos as well because the same premise runs for that too. It's never really over and you know if you do an amazing job on one of your photo shoots then that just means that you're gonna have to work even harder or think a little bit more creatively next time you do a shoot to try and top yourself again. <laughs> so I'm gonna roll an ankle. <laughs> oh taking a selfie. Mm -hmm. Oh out of film. Every time we take a selfie it's out of film. So yeah, hopefully that makes some kind of sense. I've been thinking about this a lot ever since we got here yesterday, um, but I'm really excited. We're in a beautiful spot right now, so we're gonna take some photos, but let me know what you guys think about that in the comments. I'd love to hear your thoughts and opinions. And also, if you wanna check out the photos I took last time in Yosemite during the winter, uh, I'll leave my blog post linked for that down below. So Dan ran over to the other side of the river to get a photo of a leaf, so he can do a double exposure on one of his Polaroid photos. And when he gets back, I'm also gonna ask him to take some photos, possibly with me just standing there with this beautiful background in the shot as well. And I'll get a landscape shot of it too because I really love the reflection of the trees in the water. So I'll show you what that looks like in a second. my eyes I can see you staring back at me just like you did when we first met so I'm doing whatever it takes to keep my eyes open which only reminds me everything I want to see is disappear Chop it off. Wait. <laughs> I see a fire in your eyes. 
is such a pretty spot. I love it here. Oh, would be super funny if I you were filming. I went behind you and I took out all the rocks that you stood on. He will be me too. No, I'm just, it would be funny. Would it? Please vote. Would it be funny? So right now we've got uh, F1.4, my ISO is at 100 and my shutter will be at 1 over, whoa, <laughs> 1 over 2500. And I'm going to switch it, I think it's on continuous, I want it to be on one shot, single shot AF, that's what I prefer shooting on when I'm using Sony and Canon as well. waiting for sunset at the half dome we are on the famous bridge where you can see the reflection of the half dome in the water it's gonna be a bit tricky to shoot because you've got the really dark shadows here so <laughs> might need to do a multiple exposure or just bump up the shadows in Lightroom I'll do both and see which which one works better and I'll let you guys know Uh, just vlogging on the 35 quickly while we're waiting for sunset but I just wanted to say I got distracted by the photos I was taking but something to combat the not feeling good enough or not doing as well as I did last time with my travel photography this time I really want to focus on quality over quantity and really focus on the shots that I'm getting to try and make them as great as possible like technically and creatively so that's what I'm trying to do this time and I think that will help me improve as well yeah <laughs> Hello. Come. So it's a new day and we made it to Mariposa Grove and we are going to now take the shuttle bus which is going to take us up to the top where all the giant sequoias are. Mm -hmm. We're going to take pictures and we're going to film and we're going to walk around. So yeah. We were just minding our own business, taking photos of the giant sequoia trees, and I can't believe we just saw a bear. It didn't look like a full-size bear, but yeah, I can't believe we finally saw a bear uh, in Yosemite. But um, yeah, we definitely walked back to civilization when we saw that, because that was terrifying.
So we're currently getting some sunset landscape photos. We just pulled off to the side of the road because you can see the whole mountain face with all the trees and it looks amazing. So we're doing. The sky is super bright though. I'm trying to expose dark enough that I can hopefully recover the highlights in Lightroom, but I might also shoot a few uh, multiple exposures too and then stitch the images together. Maybe I'll put it on, I can do the, uh, the, um, <laughs> the bracket. Today is our last day in Yosemite National Park. Tomorrow we're waking up and driving to San Francisco where we're catching our flight home back to Sydney. So today I kind of didn't really vlog that much because I wanted to just uh, go on a hike and take some photos and stuff like that. So basically what we did is we got into the park in the morning and we hiked up to Vernal Falls, which was really nice. It wasn't uh, like a lot of waterfall coming down, but it was a nice enough walk. It was pretty uphill, which was tiring, but that was a nice hike. And then we kind of just drove around the park. We had something to eat and now we're here at the river. I can't remember what this river is called. But the water is perfectly still, which makes a perfect reflection of the mountains surrounding it. So I'm gonna take a few landscape photos and then I think I might also sit on this log here and ask Dan to get some portraits of me here as well. I pretty much only shot on the Sony 28mm f2 lens today too, which has been really nice to shoot with. Uh, I think for the portraits and the landscape here, I'm gonna switch to my 35. You can see Bridal Veil Falls all the way over there. I might have to do a multiple exposure here as well just because as you can see the mountains there are really overexposed but this section is in the shadows. But that looks super cool. We could also wait until the sun sets as well so it's dusk and then that way we won't have that many issues with the lighting. Sunset just happened at Tunnel View in Yosemite and it was absolutely beautiful. We took our last photos that we're going to take in the park until next time. Maybe one day we'll come back. I think now is a good as good a time as any to end today's vlog. I really, really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I would love to hear your thoughts about everything down in the comments, what your favorite locations were, if you like the before and after of the photos, uh, which lens you preferred as well, if you liked the photos from the 28 or the 35, uh, what you thought of the A7 III video. I want to hear it all down in the comments below. Um, but yeah, aside from that, I, again, I really hope you enjoyed and thank you so much for watching. I release new videos every Wednesday and Saturday, so I'll see you all next time. Bye!